Hello Federal viewers, February 28 is celebrated as National Science Day every year to mark the discovery of Raman effect. What is this Raman effect all about and is it being useful in our daily life? Let's talk to physicist in the IIT Madras, uh, Professor Manu Jaiswal. Hello Professor. Sir, I want to know the story behind the discovery of Raman effect by Sir C. Yes. V. Raman. This is a very interesting story. Sir C. V. Raman was travelling from England to India and he was travelling by the Mediterranean Sea. In that time, he noticed that the sea has an unusual deep blue colour and he started to wonder why this colour comes, where, it, where does it come from. The prevalent theory at the time which was attributed to Raleigh was that the sky is blue, therefore the sea is blue because the sky is being reflected from the surface of the sea. Raman thought about it and he ha happened to have a Nicol prism with him in his pocket. He took it out and observed the surface of the sea. A Nicol prism can cut out the reflection from the surface of the water. Even today people use it to do good job of underwater camera imaging. So when what he found was that even when the reflection from the sky has been completely removed, there is a deep blue emission coming from the sea and he wondered whether that is some property of the sea itself. When he landed in India, he was very excited and he started performing experiments in his lab. For instance, he passed this light through some organic medium and he found when he passed purple light, he got a very faint green light emission. This very faint emission cannot be seen with the naked eye. He required to build a spectrometer in order to notice the emission of the green light. And this is called as Raman effect. Okay. How this Raman effect is being used in our daily life, uh, do we use it? Yes, we, of course, there are, there are so many applications of Raman effect. Raman effect got a big boost after the invention of the laser, which happened a decade after Raman effect's discovery. With the laser, now it was possible to obtain a significant amount of signal because the laser is a powerful source of light. And the applications of Raman effect are in every field, in material science, nanotechnology, medicine and so on. For example, it can be used to study the progress of some diseases by examining the tissues or it could be used or it is being used to look at trace amount of explosives which cannot be detected otherwise. Okay. At IIT Madras also we are studying Raman effect. Do you use his effect for yes, any yes. of your experiments? Yes, of course we do that. Uh, one common problem that all of us have noticed is that there is this overheating of mobile phones and laptops. Yeah and we need better materials which can transport heat. One such material is graphene mm -hmm. and we have used Raman spectroscopy to study the propagation of heat in graphene mm -hmm. in order to discover what are the bottlenecks in heat transport and how it can become an efficient layer to take out heat from the material. Extensive, unbiased, thorough. The Federal Pudhiya Talaymurai Apt Nationwide 2024 Pre-Poll Survey gives you the pulse of the nation. 7 p.m. on the Federal's YouTube channel. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.